तो हेलो गाइस लेट्स टुडे प्रैक्टिस परफॉर्म टेस्ट बिफोर एंड टेस्ट आफ्टर लेट्स नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन परफॉर्म टेस्ट बिफोर एंड टेस्ट आफ्टर सो जनरली व्हाट हैपेंस इज व्हेनेवर वी रन ए परफॉर्म लूप जनरली वी राइट परफॉर्म अंटिल ए वेरिएबल इज इक्वल टू सम वैल्यू और इट इज ग्रेटर देन समथिंग और लेस देन समथिंग देन बाय डिफॉल्ट इट गोस इनसाइड आई मीन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट चेक्स द लूप and if the loop is not true if it is false then it will go inside this and will perform the loop okay now the meaning of that is keep on performing this loop unless and until this value is equal to this now today we will see the difference between perform with test before and test after so first i will see what a test before mean so i have taken a variable i picture class 9 of 1 value is 1 So perform test before until i equal to one. Display IBM mainframe. I have displayed the value of i also. So test before is first of all this loop is checked. If it is false, then only it goes inside it. It performs everything whatever is written. Then again it checks the loop. If it is still false, it will again go. If it is true, it will come out of the loop. That is test before. The logic, the loop will be the condition will be checked before going to inside this loop. That is test before. Okay, but since here the value of i is initial value of i is one, and I have written until i equal to one. That means keep on performing this loop unless and until i is equal to one. So since it is equal to one, it should not go inside this loop, and this this display should not come. So let's see how it works. the name of the program i have kept as test after don't get confused with that uh here it is same so i'll go to spool and i will check if there is any display so there is no sys out if there would have been any display statement there would have been a sys out but since there is no sys out there is no display that means it has not gone inside the loop only okay that is test before since the condition is true this loop is not performed now i will check with perform after perform with test after is before checking the loop for the first time it will go inside it will perform whatever is written then it will go and then it will check the loop whether the loop is true or false then if it is false it will again go if it is true it will not go so but by default with test after the loop will be performed at least once so i'll save it i will again compile this program i will execute it now if i go to spool c c sort is generated and one display has come so this is the difference between perform test before perform with test after in test before the condition is checked first if it is false it goes inside if it is true it does not go inside and perform it test after is the condition is checked later by default for the first time it will go inside this loop and perform the loop next time only it will check now if i give it i equal to 2 and i give add plus 1 to i let's see what happens and i give here before so compile it then execute it one display is there okay there is one display that is because the initial value of i is 1 okay so the first time it is checking if i is equal to 2 so the condition is becoming 1 is equal to 2 which is a false condition it will go inside it it will display this then it is adding 1 to i immediately the value of i is becoming 2 the next time when it checks the condition i is already equal to 2 so 2 is equal to 2 is a true condition so it is not going to go inside it again okay so that is how it will work now same thing if i do with perform after okay
here also there is only one display how because the first time it is not checking the condition only it is going inside it is displaying after displaying it is adding one to one one to i the initial value of i is already one so currently the current value of i is becoming two so the next time for the first time when it checks the condition i is already two so two is becoming two two is becoming equal to two so it is a true condition is not going inside so in this kind when i have changed the value of i you can see the result of test before and test after the same similarly when you do um i greater than equal to five i greater than equal to three the result in some cases it will be same only but when you, when there is a static value okay when i the initial value of i is one or two and you are checking you are performing for that value only that time you can see the difference because i perform it test before we'll check the condition first it will go inside if it if it is false it will not go inside if it is true so in the previous condition when i was one it did not go inside because the condition was true already but in case of test after it went inside it displayed then only it checked the value of i and when it became equal to y it did not go inside again so for with test after there was one display with test before there was no display so this kind of scenarios this kind of things you may have in your real time so you have to use think and use which one you should do in some cases you should al always do the iteration at least once for the loop at least once you have to do the iteration that time you have to use perform test after in some cases you should just go with the normal flow that time you can use perform before now if you don't write anything if you just write perform until what does it mean so by default it means with test before so the default value of this is with test before if you don't write anything after perform the default value is with test before that means the loop will be condition will be checked first then only if it is false it will go inside if it is true it is not going to go inside okay so hope this helps you can use these um, conditions or concepts in your project whenever necessary whenever there is a requirement you can take reference from this and you can use it so i will come up with some more videos please suggest me on which topics you want me to make videos on so i will take those topics and i will make videos i have already seen some people have asked me to make videos on impact analysis or uh, and some other topics also i have noted down i am going to make videos on them and also please keep on suggesting me on which topics you want me to make videos on so i'll do it thank you so much keep studying till then bye